Hello YouTube, I'm back again today and I have with me the Xperia Z2 tablet. This is a brand new tablet just recently released by Sony. Um, it's a waterproof tablet. It's IP58 certified, meaning that it can go up to a depth of 1 meter and can stay underwater for 30 minutes. Well, I haven't done this before. This is the first time I'm going to be doing it. So let's put it underwater and see if it can survive. I will do it a few times just to make sure that uh, we put it under stressful test. Okay, let's do this quickly. Before you do that, just make sure that all the ports surrounding the tablet are fully sealed. Sony has done it again, said it again and again that if the ports are not fully sealed, then the water can get into the tablet and it can damage the tablet. So, at the bottom we have nothing. Sorry, on the left hand side you've got nothing. And the bottom we have the magnetic port, as you can see on the camera. This is exposed, not fully covered. Uh, it's always been the case with Sony devices anyway. Okay, on the bottom we also have a 3.5 mm jack, which is not covered on the older generation of Xperia tablets and phones. Uh, the 3.5 mm jack was actually sealed, but this time around, Sony has assured us that even without being covered, it can still take a dump in water. Okay, on the right hand side, we have a volume rocker, the power button, I can't see no other seals. Okay, on top, I can see there is, a, I'll bring the tablet closer to the camera, there is the micro SD slot, this is fully sealed. We also have uh, next to it, the charging port, I think, yes, that's also fully sealed as we speak now, there we go. And we have the IR blaster, obviously that's, that's built in, so I expect it to survive anyway, it's got no seal on it. And then turning around this way, we've got nothing else. So, on top of the tablet we have the IR blaster and the USB charging port, both fully sealed. You have to check it again and again just to make sure because if you don't then your tablet can get damaged and Sony will not actually give you anything on the standard manufacturer's warranty. Okay, now that we have checked it's fully sealed, all four corners, nothing exposed, let's put the tablet underwater and see how it performs. Ready? Let's make sure the screen on top is off as well. Okay, there we go. So let's do it upside down first. One, two, three, go. There we go guys. This was the deepest uh, tray I could find, I'm sorry, but uh, at least it's fully submerged, as you can see. I'll leave it there for a few seconds to see how the tablet performs. Just to let you know, again, it's IP58 certified, meaning it can go up to a depth of 1 meter. I can survive for 30 minutes. Alright, let's take the tablet out and see if it's still in working condition. If it's not, then my tablet is ruined. Okay, let's um, turn the power switch on. There we go. The screen has come on successfully. Boom, it's come back on. As you can see, the tablet is still in a working condition. I can swipe across the home screens. I can go to the app drawer. And the tablet is still working absolutely fine. Okay, let's do it once more. And this time around, we'll do it upside down, the other way around. Ready, one, two, three, go. There we go. The tablet goes back in the tray again. I would never suggest anybody to do this at home. Uh, the water certification uh, is there for the extra protection. Sony and uh, everybody else obviously wouldn't want you to take the tablet underwater all the time. But it's the extra cushion, the extra protection that you have on the tablet to make sure that in case if you by accident drop the tablet somewhere in a tub or in a pool or somewhere, at least it will survive and you will have a working device even if it stays underwater for a while. Okay, so let's take the tablet out again to see if it's still working. And double tap the screen. I think because of the water on screen, um, and the touch is a bit more gone a bit, I think gone off, but it's come back on anyway. There we go. Screen comes on. I think it's the water which is not allowing me to get into it. There you go. As the water dries up, it becomes easier to interact with the screen, which is understandable. So, as you can see, the screen is still trying to work. Because the screen is a bit wet, so that's why it is finding it a bit hard to actually register my touch on this. There you go. As you can see, it's drying up a bit and seems to be working. Okay. I tell you what, I will see if I can dry it up with tissue. I've got tissue here on me. Let's dry the screen up a bit and see if it responds to my touch properly then. Okay. <coughs> My fingers, my fingers are still wet. Or let's have a look, try it again. There you go. There you go, guys. As you can see, now the screen has dried up. It's responding to my touch. So there we go. 
as you can see the tablet is still in a working condition so guys there you have it this is the Sony Xperia Z2 tablet it is a quick water test just to show you guys that the tablet is IP58 certified uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so any questions please ask me in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help thank you